get more reaction to all this and Apple's latest ambitions. I'm joined live by Giles Cottle. He's a senior analyst at Informa. Hi, Giles. Morning, morning. Apple TV, I mean, the first version was deemed a bit of a failure. Is the new version going to redeem those faults or not? Well, I, th I think you really have to look at the reasons why the first one didn't sell as well as Apple hoped. There were really, I, I see, two key factors. The first was the price, and clearly they fixed that because mm. now it's retailing at less than half of what it retailed for before. However, I think the second issue, which is content, they haven't really issued, uh, dealt with as well. You've, you've still focused really on, on mostly on iTunes only content so if you don't want content from the iTunes store or if you're not a Netflix subscriber which is the only other tie up that Apple announced you're really there's really little reason for you to buy the box because this is the only video content that you can access so basically the they don't have the rights to sell the shows or rent the shows the way they want to and that's the that's the key for Apple isn't it that, that's part of the issue I mean they've only launched with two of the four big US yeah. TV networks I mean I, I, in time that will change you know the other two are very likely to, to, to sign on um, just as happened with uh, you know when they first launched iTunes, the iTunes Store, it, they didn't launch all the TV networks. What I think is of a, a, a greater issue, actually, is the fact that there are no, there aren't very many third-party options. Because uh, I think what a lot of people were hoping for from Apple TV was that it would be almost like a, like an iPhone for the TV, and that you'd be able to access lots of other third-party content and download apps from other people like broadcasters and mm. so on. But but Apple hasn't gone down that road yet. Will it go down that road? Because I imagine if if if, if one is able to delve into the world of apps, not only is it big for Apple, but it's big for, for programmers, isn't Indeed. it? Indeed, I, I think it will. At the moment, it's still clearly focused on, on trying to sell on trying to sell TVs and, and, and movies. Um, it, however, it has had, as we know, phenomenal success with, the, um, with mobile applications. I think the, the, the whole TV application space is still pretty nascent, and I suspect mm. they're still kind of trying to, trying to feel the way around it and work out the best way to bring apps to the TV, because it is not as simple as just porting one to the other. But I, I believe it's an area that they'll move into. There's a lot of future. people in this place, aren't there? There's a lot of companies within this place. I mean, do, would you expect Apple to become the market leader? Um, that's, a, that's, that's a good question. There are, there are a lot of uh, players in the space. All of the, all of the television manufacturers are, are doing their own thing in this area. Of course, we had Google TV. Yeah. Uh, which, which launched very, uh, which was announced very recently. In terms of whether Apple will come to dominate it, you know, really the, the, the person that wins this battle will be the, the, uh, the one that scales the best. Um, Apple will, will undoubtedly sell a lot of Apple TV devices to, to hardcore Apple fans. Whether they'll be able to do that to, uh, to a wider audience is, uh, is, is, not as, is not as clear, in my view. At what stage, then, could you see this really taking off? Because all Apple products tend to take off eventually, don't you? So how will the mass market, at what point, Will the mass market embrace Apple TV? Well, it, it, it really depends. It depends on the content mark. Um, yeah. At the moment, as we, as we said at the beginning of the yeah. show, if you're if you if you like to download movies and, and rent TV shows from from iTunes, and this would be a, a decent device for you to buy because it's very cheap. It's only 100, retailing at hundred dollars. Um, so you know it can, can be almost like an impulse purchase if you want to access this type of content. Yeah. But if you want to access more, then there are other devices on the market, both standalone set-top boxes and and also things like games consoles. You know, if you look at in, in the UK, if you look at the kind of content you can get on the on the Sony PlayStation 3, you can get the iPlayer and other other types of catch-up TV. And really, this is a, a much wider content offering than, than Apple has at the moment. Thanks very much, Giles Cottle there from Informer.